An effective security program must be built on a complete security strategy, not with piecemeal elements like some CCTV, access controls, or security guards in isolation. But it is common to see these type of practices even in the large multinational corporations. This problem commonly arises as facility management teams instead of security experts do most security designs. And to build an effective security program, you have to select most effective security risk mitigation plans. Three fundamental and most effective security risk mitigation plans are the 4D concept, the late security approach, and the five best approaches of risk management. In this video, I'm going to talk about the 4D concept and how it can be used in the security system design. This 4D concept is classic in crime prevention theories and it also equally applies in any aspects of asset protection or security risk management programs. These 4Ds are deter, detect, delay, and deny. The first and foremost objective of any security system design is to deter the potential adversary. If the security system design convinces the adversary or the bad guy that it's quite difficult to breach the security system and if the bad guy leaves the attempt before even trying, the deterrence has worked. But it's not always the case with a determined adversary. If the deterrence has failed, then comes the next objective is to detect the adversary or an attempt or an attack that is in progress. Because without detection, the security team cannot delay or respond to that untoward situation or an attack. Then comes the next objective that is delay. If the adversary attempt is detected, we should be able to delay enough so that response force can intervene the adversary. The response force can be security guarding personnel, emergency response personnel or even law enforcement personnel. The ultimate objective of any security program is to deny the adversary access to the asset. All these uh, functions can be achieved with a combination of people, procedure and technology. For example, the detection function can be achieved with the people like security guards, human surveillance methods or human intelligence collection and with procedural controls like management reviews and auditing, technological controls like uh, intrusion detection systems and CCTV surveillance. In a similar manner, other delay and denial can also be achieved with a combination of people, procedures and technology. When you design a security system with a thorough security risk assessment, which is built on this fundamental concept along with the late security approach and the five best approaches of risk management, that security program will be more effective. So, Whenever you design a security system, design on the fundamental security risk mitigation plans. Because having a security system not designed with these fundamental concepts is as good as not having one. Your security program effectiveness is as good as its weakest security control in the overall design. When you design security program based on these fundamental concepts, it will protect the organization assets and business continuity in its true sense. So whenever you design a security system, focus on the complete security strategy based on thorough risk assessment, not with feature rich piecemeal elements like some CCTV access controls or security guards in isolation. Hey, you know what? Today we are living in more complex world and the threats are more dangerous than you could ever imagine. To improve your security awareness and readiness, to protect yourself and your organization better, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share with your friends or anyone else who might benefit from this information. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.